Invoke thee and call upon thee, O mighty mother of us all, bringer of all fruitfulness, by seed and root, by stem and bud, by leaf and flower and fruit, by life and love, do we invoke thee. Holiest receiver, deign to bless and to consecrate this wine of life, so mote it be. So mote it be. To the old ones, merry meet, Merry part and merry meet again. From me to thee, so mote it be. To the old ones, merry meet and merry part and merry meet again. Oh, here we go. Right, we're back. That was Patricia uh, blessing the wine. I don't suppose you have anything to say about that, really, Michael, do you? A bit horrified by that. You are a little bit horrified about that. We'll take some more thoughts. Yes. Mr. Dickens. Because the people in the craft today are very marvellous people. They are uh, people you find everywhere, in every walk of life. But and not they? only here, but uh -huh. in America, in Australia, in Europe, everywhere. Many, many thousands of people. Yeah, but are there people, do you think, who are using the craft perhaps as a front for other no, things? No, not, not no? the genuine craft, no. Because a person is uh, two years before they're initiated, easily. Mm. And no, they, are, they are... It's a pretty spooky place, let me tell you. I don't know he or she is a friend of yours. We're going to go in and find out though, what's going on here. But just in case, I've got some insurance. A clove of garlic. <laughs> Follow me. This is probably one of the busiest shops that stock all kinds of paraphernalia if you're interested in black magic. The proprietor, himself a witch, is Chris Bray. How are you, Chris? Can I, is it safe to shake your hand? Good. Now, Chris, come a little closer, lean across here and tell me, how on earth did you get into this sort of thing in the first place? Oh, um, I was involved from a very early age uh, inside myself. I was looking for... Uh a connection with the goddess, mm -hmm. with the planet, and uh, I couldn't find it in any established religion. Why do you decide to go into what people call black magic rather than Christianity? Yeah. Well, it's not black magic, it's magic. Uh, all of magic is magic. There's mm -hmm. no black or white about it. So it's, what about uh, this, these things about black witches and white witches? And... Well, it's usually pundits which use the term black magic and white magic, yeah. white witch and black yeah. witch. It just doesn't exist. There is magic. It's a creative force. It's a force for good and evil, but to be able to manipulate it, the commitment is so great mm. that those people collect wisdom sufficient to not use it for distasteful purposes. So most efficient witches are what normal people would call white. But I mean, some people use it for the wrong reason, don't they? You've got things no, here like uh, whips and flails. They, they, may, and... they may use it um, for the crack. They may use it um, as a front, uh -huh. uh, but uh, they cannot use the true power of magic unless they actually pursue a particular path of magic and learn the technique. Which I mean, takes I, a long time. I noticed a book over there coming in about sexual perversions and things like that. No, not about sexual perversions. What sexual it? magic. That's it, sexual magic. Yes. Well, of that, course, that... we're all the result of sexual magic. On this particular theme, I was concerned about all these leather thongs over here tying people up and stuff like that. I mean, do you, <laughs> does, what, what happened no, there? No, no, no. I mean, the, the cords over there are used for tying people up to, on this, this yeah. side. Um, and basically, uh, during initiation, uh, the neophyte, the probationer's uh, hands are tied behind him and uh -huh. then released as a symbol of his freedom, of his newfound level of awareness and altered, altered consciousness. So uh, that's the only binding that, uh, that occurs. Yeah. Well, when you've bound them, you have all manner of knives and, you know and swords. What do you do with them, for goodness <laughs> well, sake? Look at that. You don't do what you're inferring that you do with them. This is a knife, and it's a damn good knife at that. And it's used for what knives are always used for. It's used for cutting. It's a tool. But if a youngster came in off the street, maybe 14, 15, young man, oh, well, and wanted to buy one of those? We don't sell to people under 18. You don't? No. Right. I mean, we, we, we never have done, either by a male or in the shop. And that's not particularly because there aren't kids of 16 and 17 who are responsible enough to be able to cope with what, mm. uh, what the occult offers, but principally because we get a lot of stick from the media if we did so. Uh, but, Quite right, uh, we do. Yes. Let me just, you hold on to your, um, okay. your what's it there, let me get one of these, because these, uh, these come in both sexes, don't they? There we are. Let's have a, let's have a look at this. This is, it, right. this is it, is it? What do I, okay. What do I, what do I do with that then? If I get one of those, well, this is the basic uh, wax image doll. It's impregnated with accumulator, herbal mm. accumulator, um, and uh, it's also sexed with the herbs, corresponding gems and minerals, so that it's really ready to activate by mm. tradition 
Uh, and what you need to do is you need to make the doll look like the person whom you're working on. Uh -huh. It's basic sympathetic magic. Okay, well listen, um, we, we're going to sort of uh, work out some more. You've got to show me some spells. I want to make some spells. See if yeah, we can... Well, we can uh, this one about disappearing is quite good. That's okay. true. Yeah, it's the Goblin yeah. Dawn spell. Mm. You just have to sort of think yourself into it, don't you? A little bit more than that. A little goes, bit more than like that. Yeah. Right, we've got to be in unison when yeah. we do it. Well, yes. I've been practicing this one. I think it'll probably work. Okay, let's... Watch this. Okay. A bit horrified about that. We can take some more thoughts. Theatricals. Susan from Nottingham. Hello, Susan. Donna. Okay, where's Donna? Hello, Donna. Hello. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hello. Donna, what can we do for you? Um, I've got a question for Mr. Dickens. Right. Um, he seems to have collected quite a lot of information on child abuse. Mm -hmm. um, could, he, could he tell me, please, how many vicars in the last ten years have been in court for molesting choir boys? Yeah, I think we've actually covered that, uh, that point also, already, Donna, really. Thank you very much indeed. I think we've uh, dwelled on that too long. Richard is next. He's calling us from Warsaw in Staffordshire. Richard, hello. Hello, James. Yes, Richard. Um, i just got to say, uh, I think that this... Um witchcraft stuff it's a bit sort of like another belief for people to believe in really i mean everyone's got to have their own beliefs i mean yeah. you don't find it offensive in any way or uh, upsetting in any way you um, just look at it as if it's another religion really um i tend to sort of mm. not follow religion really at all yeah okay well thank you very much indeed richard john from grantham hello john hi how are you i'm very well there we are pat's bringing the wine into us at the moment yeah i'm watching on the tv at the moment uh what do you think about this then john right well uh, two questions firstly eh? Yeah. Okay, uh, right. My wife recently has been involved with uh, clairvoyance, mediums, etc. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, I presume that they are on the white side of magic. And I presume that voodoo is on the black side of magic. Um, I appreciate your guests are probably more on the black side than the white side. How does the white side mm. affect them? How does the white side affect them? Okay, let me, Pat, please do sit down. That's, uh, is that, that for, we have a, a drink of... Uh, Perhaps afterwards we'll get stuck into it. How does, I mean, are you a, a black witch or a white witch? Is there a distinction or not? No, there are only white witches because if you're initiated, mm. you are a white witch. And there's only one way to get into the craft, and yeah. that is to be initiated. So what, what are black witches? I mean, the, the, these people who are supposed to be bad and evil. Well, I don't know who they are, but they're just people who use the craft, use the name of the craft, call themselves witches, you mm. see. Uh, and, they're, and they're nothing to do with it, really. Okay, right, thank you. <laughs> Right, this is the home of uh, Barbara Brandolini. I wonder if she's in. Hello? <laughs> Black cat. Hello, Barbara. Uh -huh. I wonder if um, you can tell me, first of all, when did the temple first come into being? About ten years or so yeah. ago. You designed it yourself? I did, yeah. I worked and painted it all myself, yeah. sealing it. It really to do with being an individual, I think. and escaping from the norm as it is if you're trying to think magically in an ordinary setting surrounded by an older hoover and stuff it's hard to spark off mm. into anything so you come in here and it tends to be this small universe of your own i mean i have to ask you a lot of yeah. people perhaps people living around will wonder i mean do you have sort of orgies going on in here or not was that just and michael buckley is patricia crowther and pat is the high priestess of sheffield of the Sheffield Coven, yes. Of the Sheffield yes. Coven. Pat, tell me how you first got involved in this. I mean, why did you first take up witchcraft? Well, I was always looking for a mother figure, mm. and I, I studied the subject. And, uh, of course, I found uh, people who were willing to initiate me, in particular Dr. Gerald Brizzo Gardner. He brought me into the craft. He was a great friend of my late husband, Arnold Crowther. And... Uh, since that time, of course, uh, that's 25 years ago, by the way. 25 years ago? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. But since that time, I have open covens of my own, and uh, have my own coven, of course, as well. What do you feel about people like Geoffrey here who have been, I'm giving your, your uh, craft, mm. I suppose, quite a lot of bad publicity Yes, recently. I think I must dissociate myself from the uh, uh, horrific allegations of Mr. Dickens. Because the people in the craft today are very marvellous people. They are uh, people you find everywhere, in every walk of life. But and not only here, but uh -huh. in America, in Australia, in Europe, everywhere. Many, many thousands of people. Yeah, but are there people, do you think, who are using the craft perhaps as a front for other no, things? Not, not no, not the genuine craft, no. Because a person is uh, two years before they're initiated, easily. Mm. And no, they, are, they I... are sort of 
looked at. What I'm saying is that there, there are yes. people, aren't there, who have done some pretty unspeakable things. It's been documented, and I, I come over to Michael Buckley as well, because there's some people from the church who've been involved in some pretty sordid things recently, they've been in the newspapers, who are using religion and various other things as a front. Would you, would you accept that? Not really, not the craft. Not anyway. the craft. Not the craft. But I, I do think that these, all these allegations mm. have been put across onto the occult, onto the old religion, because there's so many uh, priests of the Christian church mm. being found guilty of child abuse over well, the last me, two me, years, listen. and also through the last mm. few months, actually. Let and me, yesterday there was about four in the paper. Let me just calm down. Let me just go and uh, ask Geoffrey if he thinks that uh, perhaps this is talk about child abuse, which is what you're, you're really keen on, and stopping people doing this, obviously. I mean, do you think that the people like Patricia here, I don't think she's into anything like that at all. A charming lady, a lovely lady. I worship lady. the goddess. Don't you, don't you, don't you think you're in danger, it. perhaps, of blackening everybody? I don't think so, because when Vickers got up to nonsense, I went to Lambeth Palace and was just as angry about my own faith interfering with children. And I have absolute concrete evidence that these things are happening. And all I was saying... But say, you don't pick on people like Patricia more no, than you I don't. pick on she's, somebody look, if you knew... she has nothing to fear... From me, I'm not by some of the, anyway. well, perhaps maybe Thank not. Thank you very much. And I, I'm certainly not frightened of you. No. But I must say this: that she has nothing to fear from me, and nor do the genuine pagans. I don't approve of them because they're not in my religion. But that's a different thing altogether. That's a not approving. No, it's not. It, no, I just, I just There's hundreds of religions in the world. And maybe. Of course, there's lots okay, of religions maybe. in England. But may I say this? You see, we've seen a film clip from the Sorcerer's Apprentice or Astonishing Books. And they have this massive mail order mm. um, uh, following right throughout the country. And this sort of thing is happening in America, France, Australia, and right throughout the United Kingdom. So these things are yeah, happening, and Let, you can't say they're Let's true. have a, a little look, Jeffrey. We've got this list here. Can you, can you get this, the list of all the things? And also Chris Bray, who I was talking to in the film report, is on the line. Chris. Hello, Chris. Let me fade you up. That'll be better. Then you'll, Can you hear me now? You'll be on. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hi. Chris, uh, you've, you've heard what Jeffrey has had to say and what other people have had to say tonight. Well, what, what is the story, do you think, with witchcraft? Well, I think this is hilarious. I mean, you have two people here who are absolutely blind towards occultism. They are totally and utterly devoid of any intelligence about occultism at all. They don't know what an occultist is if they met a genuine occultist in well, the street. Well, tell me in your, in your words then, Chris, sort of fairly briefly, what a genuine occultist is. A genuine occultist is somebody who takes all aspects of life looks behind what is obvious and finds out what is sacred. Mm -hmm. but that's, that's the basis of all religious belief. You would agree, though, surely, with what Jeffrey is doing if he's trying to bring people who are committing some gross, absolutely. terrible acts to, to, Ab to book. Absolutely. But what he's doing, of course, is he's using it to gain publicity. It's, a, it's pure electioneering. He's had nine months to collate his case. Well, come on. Come on, Mr. Dickens. Where, are, where is your proof, this well, concrete I, proof that you're may talking I say about? This? May I say this to you? There's many cases that are going to appear in front of the court yeah, you, you said this nine, year, nine months ago. Nonsense. Uh, I did well, not you said say this nine, nine months ago. ago. I, I have... I have but you asked me a question. Me. You asked me a question. Just, uh, just a minute, Listen. Chris. Let's get the answer. Right, you Jeffrey, asked me a question. let's have the answer. There are many cases coming to court, and the last thing I want to do is to not let those cases be tested by a court. And we have a thing in this country called the subjudice rules, and therefore it would be unfair on this live program and unfair to myself to breach those rules. But all I can say, if you believe what you're saying to me, you just watch your national newspapers this year, my friend. And I really do believe people like you are an absolute... So you are a menace. You are an absolute Just a minute, Jeffrey, before we, before we start sort of nice slagging person. each other off, and I'll, uh, I'll do the, uh, the, the slagging <laughs> off if anybody's <laughs> going to do it. Just, just a one moment. Let's bring Michael Buckley in, who represents the church on this discussion tonight. Michael... You probably have uh, had more to do with both sides, I would think. Well, I, I'm very sorry to, to that this uh, related just exclusively to child abuse mm. and to say that all those who engage in any form of the occult and witchcraft uh, are therefore involved in sex abuse. I think that's wrong, personally. Uh, I also think that the person, I never heard of him before, the person who's on the phone, who calls me an anti-intellectual. I'm afraid that's a tremendous... That was I like feel a very, very, a bull, very, very sorry for you, really, and just someday I'll meet with you, you and... You, you and, uh, spend yeah, just 20 let me, minutes with you've me. You've spoken already, just a minute. You, you had just to spend 20 please. minutes with me on no, a television interview I, uh, I feel very three years sorry, ago. Uh, because, no, just... If I your memory is that good, I feel very uh, sorry. Uh, you know, this is exactly what I'm saying. I can't speak to you. Chris, you, yep. you, you have actually met Michael some years ago, have you? Three years ago, we spent 20 minutes uh, interviewing on a programme about uh, the Lubitches mm. who had problems with the Amityville okay. horror. 
For the moment, I want to uh, leave it there because we're going to get more and more wound up in this. I want to come back and talk Beyond to Pat answered, hopefully in you. Moment. Chris from Derby, hello. Hello, James. Yes, Chris. Um, I've noticed that most of these questions are child abuse orientated, and my question is no different. What I'd really like to know is if and when these occultists that are child molesting are caught, mm. do they get uh, jail sentences like any other criminal, or do they get special specialist treatment because of their beliefs? OK, well, that's a, a rather strange question, uh, I must admit. Do they get special treatment? I suppose we'll ask Geoffrey, because he, he'll know what happens. I mean, they're, they're, anybody uh, convicted of child abuse will get the same sort of treatment. Oh, right, absolutely. They? I mean, there's no offence to be a witch these days. Yeah. I mean, uh, it is an offence to abuse a child, and there are very stiff sentences applied yeah. to that, and that's what they're sentenced for. Can I, this, what's, what's worrying me, you see, Geoffrey, is really we, we, we're half talking about child abuse here when we were going to do a programme on the occult, and I think we're perhaps confusing people quite a lot, aren't we, really? That you, what you're saying is that a number of people under the guise of, of occultism are being involved in child abuse, as some have been involved perhaps under the guise of religion. Well, I'd go further than that because uh, our friend here with her uh, chalice has uh, just admitted uh, by her own admission that uh, many people use her occult uh, for black magic and black witchcraft and everything occult. else. The we, craft. The craft. Use yeah. your craft. And that's just my oh, point. What's the what's point the, I'm we making. Can't, we can't do anything about that yeah. because the craft yeah. is autonomous. Well, it's why, why you but, get so upset, Patricia, when he says uh, the occult and you want to call it the craft? Because it is. It is the craft. It's a religion. Mm. Okay. But we do not have children in the craft anyway. Nobody's admitted under the age of 25. Okay. Can we okay. Get, to, get some more calls, Donna? Do you want to go and uh, bring me some more calls in? Because I think we'll take some more calls. There are loads of calls coming in. And may I say that if you would like to, uh, to write in, you know the address now, if you've got any views on this, we'll be coming back to the subject in a couple of weeks. Or if you have any kind of suggestions for subjects you'd like to see us uh, deal with on the program. Now, you, you gave me a present. I've got to open this oh, before yes. we go anywhere. Tell me, what, what, what is this? It's a present for yep. uh, being so uh, nice on the radio, really. Oh, is it I've really? Oh, well, that's, for about four years. That's and, very, uh, very nice. It's not. Go I thought sometimes it was sometimes when I'm lonely, I've been listening oh, to you. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I can put all my little things down in here, if you'll excuse okay. the expression. Um, oh, right, okay. Jerry is there. Hello, Jerry. Oh. Hi, Jerry. You're from uh, Southport. What's your point? No point? Right, okay. Sandy <laughs> or Susan? Hello. Hello. Who are you? I'm Susan from Nottingham. You're Susan from Nottingham? Yes, I am. Quickly, Susan. What right can we do then. for you? I would like to ask the, the guy from the church. The guy if, from the church? Michael yes. Buckley, over here. <laughs> if it's so <laughs> strong, left. why do people, does he think, are turning to the occult? If the church is so strong and so good, why is it people are turning to the craft? Well, I, I feel, I, I said earlier, James, about this program, that it grieved me that we kept it, we, 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 we confined it to, to child abuse. I think it's much deeper, well, and it's that's much wider than that. I, I think the church has lost out a lot, mm. and uh, lost out the mysterious, and lost out on what is within people, you know the why? mystery of self. You know why? It's because the church haven't got any glamorous people like Pat here. You know, you want a few... Perhaps that's what it is. Well, now that they're having women bishops, the Anakin chess perhaps yeah. they're, they're going to supply that deficiency. I you don't think, know. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say enough. Oh, oh. But well, I, would I say don't see any difference, really, between flying through the air on a broomstick and walking on water. Oh, well, yeah, well, now, I of course, you see... Those magic let me, things. Let me, let me just go back to... Um, Sa uh, Sarah, isn't it? Susan. Susan, Susan. OK, Susan. Yes, Can I just come back on that? Slightly. Go on. And just sort of say, you know, um, maybe it's uh, the church is a little bit more mysterious, uh -huh. or maybe the occult is more mysterious. Which are you? Which are you for, Susan? Have you made your mind up? Um, I'm not for neither. You're not yeah. in either. No. Okay, James, Susan, could, thank you for your I, call. Yes, Jeff. James, could I just say to Susan, if she's still listening, uh, Susan, in Nottingham, just recently, uh, by the order of a judge, 17 children were taken into care uh, for adoption because they were being abused in a cold. So you've got it right on your doorstep, my dear. Well, Geoffrey, that'll really cheer her up for the weekend. Thank you very much indeed, Michael Buckley, <laughs> Geoffrey Dickens, and Patricia Crather. Thank you for coming in thank you, with James. the wine. Thank you for well, watching. We'll have some wine and, and a couple uh, of cups of coffee, and we'll all be nice to each other, won't we? Is that all right? Okay. Okay, I don't want anybody oh, being no. nasty or, uh, or upset with anybody. Thank you. <laughs>